tonight's bb10 recap well last time keisha nominated angie and jesse yes for eviction they showed the little clips about them talking about being nominated in the beginning i'm getting a little nervous for angie she's starting to talk in the third person and jesse thinks the whole thing is just disrespectful what is his deal with respect and disrespect and everything is about that i can't believe Rennie actually went up to him and gave him a kiss as far as I'm concerned, I'm hoping it's the kiss of death. <laughs> okay, so Jerry and Dan are out on the porch. And Jerry's talking smack about Memphis. He's saying no one's really targeting Memphis, and if this continues, he's got the scheme. Yeah, and he's calling Memphis a womanizer and a loser, basically, because he's just a lousy he's bartender. He said bartender. And he is, you know, he should have been further along in his career by now because he's practically an old man. Well, that's your opinion, Jerry. It's a good one. So then <laughs> Jesse is in the HOH with Keisha, and he's trying to justify putting Steven up last week. He's like, they made me put him up. I didn't want to. If it was me, I would have put up, uh, you know, I would have put up Rennie and who was the Dan. other one? Dan. Because, you know, I w that's who I wanted out. And Keisha's, like, yeah. almost buying it. He's I like, think. oh yeah, it was all Libra's fault. Yeah, but the then when thing. she hears Libra, she's like, mm, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. But you know what? It's time to pick players for the veto. So, the HOH and the two nominees will be playing as long as three right. others. So, Keisha reaches in the bag and pulls herself out of Libra. Ooh, that made Jesse cringe. Well, Jesse got Memphis, his buddy. That's right. And Angie got Ollie. And the host is Dan, quickly becoming one of my favorites. Yes, me too. So everybody is dressed up as flowers for this uh, POV comp. And Jesse is starting to lose it here a little bit. He's like, I'm, I'm going to give it everything I got. I'm going to give it everything from my toe to head. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know. He's got a problem putting words next to words and yes. creating sentences. <laughs> yes, and making sense out of it all. So, this is a very interesting competition because they are dressed as flowers. They and have to sit in these, like, planter boxes. Right, with their head on, like, this pillow thing, and cold water is going to be dripped on their foreheads, kind of like Chinese water torture. So they have to stay in that planter for an hour and, exactly. well, guess how long that it's been. Like, they're trying to reach one hour. Right, so the person who guesses closest without going over is going to win the POV. But they're also going to be dumping live worms on them and compost that smells like old turds. Ew, and if everyone guesses after one hour, mm -hmm. the first person to guess will automatically right. win. So Keisha kind of gave up the 22 minutes after the she worms. She couldn't deal with the worms. No. I don't blame her. She didn't have anything to lose anyway. And Ollie kind of thought the worms were cursed because they had He's no like, arms and legs. They don't have legs and they move, they're cursed. <laughs> the Whatever hell? that means, I don't know. I guess because they're snakes. So, during the competition, Jesse started questioning Libra. I guess saying, to make it known to everyone. Right. Who put? Who uh, told me to put Steven up? Who did it? Who did it? Who did it? Libra. I did, I guess. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so we know. Big deal. Libra told Keisha anyway. Mm -hmm. So, after they put the compost on them, I guess they it, thought I it thought was... I thought that was around 40-something minutes. Yeah, it might have been a little bit after 40. Well, I mean, like, in the 40s. Right. I mean, with the editing that they did, it was hard to tell, you know, how long, you know, the timeline was. So... And I think that was on purpose, anyway. Libra was the next one out. Then Jesse, then Angie. Then Ollie, and then Memphis. Right. So Dan, as host, reveals that the winner is Keisha. And she's incredulous. She's like, how could I have won? Everyone else was over by at least 15 Wow. Minutes. That's a long time oh. to be over. It seemed like no one was even trying to count. No. I would have been like... <laughs> <laughs> so later on that day, or maybe it was the next day, Jesse and Michelle, who I'm really starting to hate, send Angie up to talk to Keisha. 
And and Angie is like, um, I really want you to use the POV on Jesse. <laughs> because I don't know if I can take being in this house one more day with Libra. <laughs> I yeah, oh, that was the worst acted thing I have ever seen in my life. Sorry, Angie, but you're not gonna win any Oscars with that performance. So then things got a little out of control when Keisha was like, no. Ding dong. Yeah, come in. Hey, Keisha, uh, I just want to talk to you about POV. Uh, I really think you should use it here because uh, I, I think you should be using it on me. Well, I really don't think you have anything to worry about. D no, Keisha, you don't understand. I can't sleep. I lost six pounds. Six pounds of my muscle. What's wrong with you, Keisha? Can't you see I'm in jail for a crime I didn't commit? You have the power. Why don't you use it? Jesse, like, you were partially <sighs> responsible for getting Steven addicted. No, no, no. Stop it. You have to use it on me or else. What? No. Please? I made a promise to Libra that I wouldn't put her up. You have to use it. Ding dong. Ignore it. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Come in! Keisha! Please, please, please. You can't, You don't understand. You're ruining my life. My muscles are shrinking. Please. I already told you I promised Libra. But No, you're such a bitch. Don't you see? It's not me. It's everybody else that wants you to use it. Why won't you listen to everyone? Jesse, you have nothing to worry about. Oh, I hate you. Wow, that Jesse's crazy. Yeah, more crazy news. They're bringing back America's player for one week. Bad move, big brother. What? Bad move. I don't know. I think they should keep the twists to one year. Like, you know, X Factor and all that. You know, they don't repeat that. But Ameri it was fun. America's player was not that good to begin with. I thought it was fun, but it had flaws. It had flaws, and I don't think bringing it back for one week is, you know, it's just going to create bad feelings and everything, and it's just, it's not fair to have insider mm. info. But America's going to pick who they want the player to be, and if the player accepts, they have the chance to win $20,000. That's right. So. But they are allowed to decline if they're picked. Right. I wonder if they will tell everybody in the house that, you know, or that there was an America's player, or whether so. they're going to wait till the end of the game to reveal it. They're going to wait, probably. Okay. So, Keisha, at this point, is getting really pissed that the doorbell on her room is going off every three seconds. So she decides to go around the house and tell everyone that she's sticking with Libra. Yeah, and everybody seemed to be pretty okay with it. Except for Jesse. <laughs> He's the only one that had to say something. Yeah. He he started, like, pulling other people in, too. And he's just like, it ain't me. It's yeah. Bad. Okay, so a banner's flying over the house. What? Holy crap. The only one who actually saw it, though, was Memphis. And he didn't right. get the whole thing, either. Right. He only got part of it. But he insisted that it said, Libra is a liar. Well, Jesse and Michelle used it to their advantage and, like... They were basically like, yo, this is what it said for sure. I'm really doubting that Steven had the money to fly a banner over the house, you know, since his car, like, blew up and he had to go get a new one. Where is he going to come up with the money to fly a banner over the house? Maybe somebody paid him to do it. Maybe they did. Or maybe did. it wasn't him at all. Exactly. So, in this whole situation here, something bad happens. Yo, Jerry, what's up? What was with the womanizer comment the other night? What? So I called you a womanizer? What do you Oh, mean? man! Oh, man! Don't you know, oh, man, that you don't know me. You don't know me. How could you call me a womanizer? What? A womanizer? A womanizer? A womanizer? What's a womanizer? Why'd you call me a womanizer? Bring it on. I called you a womanizer. You better shut up or I'm gonna come after you like you can't believe. Woof, that was a pretty heated argument. I'm surprised mm -hmm. Jerry kept his cool. Thank God. He knows how to keep it cool. That's right, because he's experienced. He so, knows the game. 
It's finally time for the power veto ceremony. Oh, let's just cut to the chase. She didn't use it, Jesse. So, uh, Jesse and Angie are still on the block. Oh, Jesse and his idle threats. If if I'm go if I'm not going this week, it's the biggest mistake you ever made. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Keep making those mistakes cuz I love them. Till Thursday when Jesse goes home. We don't know that. Much, Much love. love.